it's difficult to go either. The sidewalks aren't accessible, there are no curb ramps. There are businesses that have steps at their doorways. One of the issues with current power wheelchairs is their lack of stability in the outdoor environment. With Bot, it automatically adjusts its center of mass to maintain a safer position when going up and down slopes or across slopes. This reduces the risk of the wheelchair user tipping and falling out of the chair. Hi, my name is Jonathan Duvall and I'm a graduate student researcher at the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. Since I've been a graduate student here for pretty much the whole life of the MeBot project, I've always kind of been looking at it, hoping to you know try it out at some point and I got the chance to about a month ago I think and I was actually pretty surprised at how smooth the ride was and it really doesn't drive a whole lot different than standard power chair out on the market. Being able to see how the chair can adjust all the different angles to do pressure reliefs and just going in and out of you know the bathroom or or doors to see that even though the chair has the increased capabilities it still isn't any wider than my chair and also to see how quickly it can elevate up to the height of people so you can reach in high cabinets or talk to somebody face to face for for social reasons is something that I was really impressed with the chair too. Hi, my name is Jorge. Hi, my name is Deepan Kamaraj. Hi, I'm Dr. Rory Cooper. I'm the director of the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. My name is Siva Shankar. We are currently working on automating Nebot and getting it into the market. We really need your help to get this into the hands of the users who really need it most. We need your support for that, so please like and share this video.